What's going on everyone? Well, thanks for checking out another one of my videos. So we're out here in Tamales Bay today. We're gonna try and get some big halibut. At least that's the goal. So when we're outside of the San Francisco Bay, you know, out in the ocean, we can use as many rods as we want for halibut. So the plan today is to get some live bait first. When we're not in the San Francisco Bay, you don't have the luxury of just being able to go buy it. So we gotta catch our own today. That's the first order of business. Uh, that could take an hour or two. I'll show you how I do it, uh, kind of my tips and tricks for it. I do have a video about it. I'll put it in the description if you are curious how to catch uh, uh, some live bait probably gonna be going for smelt this morning i uh, haven't heard of too many like anchovies heron uh stuff like that other bait fish in here yet um but yeah excited to get dropping down these lines catching some live bait uh we're gonna tip our hooks with this squid right here and use these sabiki rigs so we'll go ahead and try and get some bait so we're out here solo today I'm kind of excited about that it's been it's been a while it's uh nice and peace and quiet get to relax a little bit more and uh don't get me wrong i definitely enjoy company but uh yeah good little change of pace today so uh we got some eel grass right here we just ran off of so that's out of the plan we're getting our bait we want to stay near that because that's where the bait fish uh the smelt they like to live next to you know for protection um so we're gonna have a bobber on one with our sabiki rig tipped it with uh some squid I'm gonna have that kind of floating out there and then i'm gonna have another one that i'm casting uh try and get them that way too so trying to just you know use two rods be a little more efficient get some bait quicker um so you got one other guy over here going for some bait on a lot of boats already fishing so you can just come out here and you know drift with some frozen herring squid something like that and sure you can get them once in a while but if you got fresh bait your odds increase so we have a low tide at 130 and when you're fishing here you want that tide going out so uh we're at the top of the tide right now and that's why i anchor up a lot of the times because the current's pushing you pretty fast but because we're at the top of the tide right now we don't have that current pushing us i can just kind of drift so let's get head cam on catch some smelt well, i've been having so many camera issues lately i guess the head cam wasn't it froze right away when i started recording uh got three smelts already pretty exciting one's big two's good size Definitely working good with the bobber system. There they are. So you can see the eelgrass right there. We want to cast this right along it. And the bobber is so nice because it keeps it off the bottom, you know? There we go. That's the one we're looking for. No concussions, okay? We need to keep you alive. Oh, my bobber. All right. Two. Two, stay on. No, the smaller one came off. It's a decent sized one though. We'll take it for sure. So this guy is on the big side. We probably don't want any bigger than this one. So he'll still do. Oh, that is the perfect side. No! God, I had like a four incher. And it flew in, it hit the boat, and then it <laughs> fell in. Oh. Smallest one of the day. All right, well, we got a friend of the channel here. We've been catching smell together, and he's giving me some of his big ones. What was your name? Joe. Joe. Yeah. Good to meet you, Joe. Thank you. No some big smells. Since we're using four rods, we can use all the bait we can get. Yeah, I'm trying to get like three more small ones. Yeah. All right, Joe, well, we'll see you on the halibut grounds. Hopefully we can get some today. Yeah, man, dude, thanks for, uh, I would not have caught a halibut yesterday if it were not for your video. Oh. Dead serious. And that was my first halibut ever, new to California. So. Awesome. That's... Appreciate it. So he was trying to figure out how to catch halibut in the area, it sounds like. Found my video and got his first one yesterday. That's uh, awesome to hear. It's, it's why I make my videos is to uh, help everyone out and catch some fish, so. Good stuff, man. So now you can see the eelgrass right there because the tide's going out. Oh, man. That was a cool one. So we're just fishing along that eel line as we're drifting. Oh, my 
kept the smaller one. Just cast right along with the bobber on that eel line grass, and man, it's been working good. Yeah, they're on and over there. So we got two here, a really big one. Hopefully two small ones, but well, this thing feels huge. What do we got? Um, we got something big that just broke our line. Uh, well, there's our bobber. Man. That was just a really big fish. When it got here, I tried to lift up, and this is six pound test. Wow. <laughs> that would have been so cool. I wonder what it was. I mean, my guess is a stingray or a striper. Oh, it was probably something trying to eat those smelt. We got a number of smelt I'm happy with. Uh, uh, at least 12, I would say. So let's go hit the halibut grounds now, drop down four rods with our live smelt. So I'm gonna put four of these Pitbull Tackle halibut rigs on all my rods. Uh, they're gonna be a really good size for the bait we're using today, the smelt. Uh, so we got a size one aught octopus hook and a size four treble. Uh, a size two treble could even work as well. I think the one aught or two aught would be ideal as well for the, the smelt bait. So a little bit slightly bigger hook when we're using smelt over the anchovies. So we'll hook them right through the nose. This hook, we're gonna stick right in the back side of them, just like so. There we go, it looks really good. Just got the fourth one baited up. Go ahead and drop it down. So we're at 20, 25 feet of water using a six ounce weight. You guys know the drill by now. We're just going to drop it to the bottom and keep it to the closest bottom as we can. We've got a really nice drift going right now. Probably only a half mile per hour. Exciting with the four rods down. Just talked to one kayaker. He said slow, slow bite to start the day. He hasn't seen much action. Um, low tide, you know, four hours from now, so. Conditions are going to be getting better. I'm feeling it. I mean, for live smell, we got a very good presence down there. Should be able to get something excited. Just want to do a little quick update. Nothing yet. Second drift. Uh, it's just, just check the baits again. Uh, they all look good. No scratches yet. Everything's swimming good. Uh, slow bite. You know, it's kind of been the theme out here this year. Well, that's why I'm out here, you know, trying to get this, you know, that challenge. You know, I can go to San Francisco Bay and get another halibut, but looking to catch one not in there, right? It's a little harder. Uh, so take the take that challenge on and let's try and get a keeper here and maybe we can get a really big one. That's also the goal. And you know, there's other fish that live in here too. Uh, stripers, leopard sharks, WSB. <laughs> Never caught one of those white sea bass, but you know, all that's possible. So I think it's time to go change spots a little bit. Um, haven't seen anything happening here. Pretty slow. So I was just checking all the bait. Uh, we got that guy still looking lively. That one's basically getting close to dead. So we'll throw that one back. That one's getting close to dead. And then this one's pretty lively. So we'll go ahead and uh, make sure our bait keeps fresh. So we'll throw the two kind of dead ones away and get fresh, uh, fresh four good live ones on there. All right, ready for that halibut. It's a new spot now. Um, there's, I don't know, three, four kayaks, five, six, seven boats. Um, so, you know, it's just seeing someone catch one would be encouraging. Cause I haven't seen one halibut all day. I haven't heard of one. Um, well, you know, they're in here. 
And sometimes that bite just turns on and they start going. So um, I think we're about 11 o'clock now, I'm about two hours from low tide. So good time to be fishing right now. So when I'm using four rods on the boat, it's pretty hard to get a camera angle of all four. So I kind of settle with three. So if you see, we can see the left rod, we'll call that rod one, rod two in the middle there, rod three, the other one in the middle, rod four is on the right side there. Oh, of course, rod four is going off with the fish. <laughs> so it always seems to go that way. And now I always tell people it looks like the fish are stuck in the mud when you catch a halibut. That's exactly what this fish is doing. It does not know it's hooked. I'm just holding the rods, getting the camera set up. Uh, fish is basically just laying on the bottom, has no idea what's going on. All right, exciting stuff, fish on. Feels big. Let's try to get this one out of the way. Oh yeah. I haven't seen it yet, but it looks like a pretty good one here. Oh yeah, that's a big one. There we go. Yes. Oh man, look how it's hooked. Just barely. That's why you see them shoot them in Alaska so often because I mean this thing's you know 10 pounds those are 100 pounders oh no it broke that Jim I need your help again crap so while I have you on the phone Eric should I give the fish a measure yeah let's see it well, how, how big you think well I haven't I, my I think it's over 30 but I haven't looked at it again closely yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do, I'm gonna do a blind guess. I'm gonna say 32 and a half. I think you're pretty close. I think it's at least at least low 30s, 31, 32. No, it's not. It's 30. <laughs> nice fish. Thank you. Look at this bait, scratched up. Oh, he got bit. So we found success out here today. We came out, we caught our own live bait, and then we used that to catch a 30 inch halibut. It doesn't get much better than that. It's a great feeling when you can catch your own bait and then catch a big fish with it. Um, and tomorrow's bait right now, I'm not expecting to get you know more than one. So to get a nice big one, hey, that's success for the day. I saw two fish other than mine caught all day out here and it's two o'clock right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and head in now. I uh, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later, guys.